Well, welcome back to another Lessons from the Masters and a marked difference in climactic conditions from yesterday where it was 25 degrees sunny and hot and today it's about 8 degrees windy and cold but never have I ever let that stop me and today's lesson is extremely important because it comes from one of the real true masters, Mr Wallace D Wattles and straight out of his seminal book uh, the science of getting rich and there is a science of creating wealth there's a science to doing everything and if you follow the steps you will succeed effectively it will work if you do the work and this is a book that has been at the forefront of so many great individuals uh, life lessons teachings and success it uh, was the inspiration behind Rhonda Burns the secret it played a huge role in the life of Bob Proctor, a mentor of mine. Um, it's been instrumental in some of my biggest successes. The book is full of gems and it's something that you should study incessantly because it's that knowledge and the repetition of said knowledge in uh, incorporated into your life that breeds success. And there are so many amazing takeaways. The sun's coming out, how wonderful. So many amazing takeaways from this book. Um, but I'm going to read you a bit that's um, not much quoted, but is really relevant and really important. And it's from the chapter, chapter number five, Increasing Life. And it says, you must get rid of the last vestige of the old idea that there is a deity whose will it is that you should be kept poor or whose purposes may be served by keeping you in poverty. The intelligent substance, which is all and in all, and which lives in all and lives in you is a consciously living substance. Being a consciously living substance, it must have the nature and inherent desire of every living intelligence for increase of life. Every living thing must continually seek for the enlargement of its life because life in the mere act of living must increase itself. A seed dropped into the ground springs into activity and in the act of living produces a hundred more seeds. Life by living multiplies itself. It is forever becoming more. It must do so if it continues to be at all. Now this is vital, especially in today's situation we find ourselves is because there is a lot of uncertainty there's a lot of confusion there's a feeling of a lack of control there's a feeling of worry and dismay and fear and people naturally when that occurs pull back but look at what Wattle says Every living thing must continually seek for the enlargement of its life because life in the mere act of living must increase itself. To pull back is the worst thing you can do. You must continue to grow. You must continue to develop. You must continue to stride forward. Read the books, study the books, take on board the information and utilize it in your life every single day. Take one bit of information and say to yourself, how can I put that information to use today in my life? This is vital. Do not shrink back because there are only two states in the universe. There's a moving forward creation and there's a moving back disintegration and if you pull back you are saying to the universe I am disintegrating and you'll see more disintegration around you but if you move forward you are saying to the universe I'm creating and you'll see more creation around you the opportunities are always there it doesn't matter what's happening outside in the environment it's what's going on in your internal environment that's going to determine what happens in your external environment so pick up the book study the book Action fire the book. Action fire is that word? Put into action the lessons you learn. And join me tomorrow for another lesson from another master. Bye for now.